Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. How's it going, GI TV? My name is Tim, and we are here to take a look at four very affordable guns. We're starting with a price point of about 150 bucks. So all the guns we're looking at today are about $150 or cheaper. We get a lot of inquiries to do videos on more affordable products. So here you go. This is going to be the first in this series. So let's get started. Without further ado, we have the Combat Machine Raider M4. This thing is for sale for $168, I believe, on our website. This is an all polymer external M4. Even the rail system is made out of polymer. But Combat Machines are made by GNG and they have a great reputation for being affordable and reliable, which is what you're looking for. This adjustable crane stock is what houses the battery. I would highly recommend a 9.6 volt nunchuck battery to go in here. We have a 450 round high capacity magazine and we have a very solid set of internals, which we'll get to later. But if you're looking for an affordable M4, this is definitely something that's gonna get you out on the field and it's gonna last you a while, at least until you're ready to upgrade to another gun. Or maybe if you want to, this thing is compatible with upgrades, you can tune this thing up in the near future. By the way, this thing shoots between 340 and 370 FPS, which is great for close quarters combat. Moving on, we have a JG Full Metal AK. Now, there are a lot of different variations of the JG Full Metal AK. They're all gonna be very similar to this one, but this happens to be an AK-74 with a side folding stock. It has a full metal body, polymer handguards, polymer pistol grip, um, and it's a pretty solid gun. At $159, it's a pretty solid gun, and it'll be cheaper if you use coupon codes. JG is pretty much universal. You can use coupon codes on our website. This thing comes with a 500 round high capacity magazine. As with all JG guns, or at least most of them, they will come with a battery and charger, so you can buy this gun and get out in the field, and you're ready to play right away. Like I said, this thing has a full metal body, full metal side pulling stock, and it has polymer furniture, but it also has a great set of internals, which we are going to take a look at a little bit later. Moving on to our next gun is actually another JG gun, but this happens to be a sniper rifle. We get a lot of inquiries about sniper rifles and what are the best airsoft sniper rifles out there. The JG Bar 10 is one of the better, more affordable airsoft sniper rifles out there. I believe it costs you in the neighborhood of about 120 bucks. That's well under our $150 budget. Um, and it comes with a scope, if I recall correctly. So we have the scope package available with this three to nine uh, by 40 zoom scope. This is a spring powered bolt action sniper rifle that's gonna shoot in the neighborhood of about 400 FPS with 0.2 gram BBs. Um, and yeah, we have like a metal barrel assembly. The internals of this thing are obviously metal. The stock is made out of polymer, which makes it really lightweight and very, very maneuverable. We have sling attachment points on the stock right here, so you can throw it around your back when you're humping it up and down the, the field. Our hop of adjustment point is right here. And like I've mentioned, this is one of the more affordable, probably one of the better affordable uh, bolt action sniper rifles on the market. We actually have it in two options. You can buy it with the scope for about 120 bucks or without for even less. So if you already have a scope, don't, wa don't bother with that scope package. And here we go, moving on to our last gun of the, it's not a trio, it's like a quattro, whatever. This thing is actually under 100 bucks at $90. This is a Bravo shotgun, and this thing is super high tech. We've got like an EBR style adjustable stock on here. There's rails up here where you can put sights to make this thing look even cooler. This gun is magazine fed here, so there's no shells with this shotgun. Um, and it is pump action, so it's a spring pump action shotgun. It's under 100 bucks. This is a great gun to get out on the field and just kind of mess around with. Sometimes, if you've been playing airsoft for a while, sometimes you just want to go mess around with a cheap gun instead of having your super decked out M4 or AK or anything like that. And this is a great option for that. Or you can loan this to your little brother, little cousin or something like that and get them introduced to the game of airsoft. Now with that being said, there's quite a bit of metal on this shotgun and it is a little heavier than it looks. So keep that in mind if you're interested in something like this. We're going to take a look at the internals of some of these other guns now. I won't be able to open this shotgun because they don't allow us to do that, but we can definitely get into the AEGs and take a closer look at the gears, the pistons, and stuff like that. So we have the uh, G and G gearbox right here, and as you can see, we've got a set of gears. We have a polymer piston and a piston head, with the piston has a second to last tooth removed. Here's our ported polymer piston head, and we have a set of brass bushings in the gearbox to keep everything in line, and of course, our ported cylinder to match the barrel length. 
And now let's take a look at the JG gearbox. We have a solid set of steel gears here with a humongous sector gear clip. We have a ported cylinder to match the barrel length on our AK. We have a polymer piston, and that still has the second to last tooth. We have our ported piston head made out of polymer, and as you can see, the ports aren't as big as our G&G gun. Motor cage for version three gearbox, of course, and it looks like we have a mixture of bushings and bearings in the gearbox. And there you have it. We took a look at four different airsoft options for about $150 or less. Stay tuned to GITV because we're going to be continuing this series of affordable stuff around $150 or so. There's a lot of different options out there and we're just getting started. So make sure you stay tuned to GITV. At Airsoft GI, we test guns before shipping them to you to make sure that they're working. This one's good to go, Mark.